Good afternoon for 4 News Now, I'm Rob King. Welcome to today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown, where I'll take you through some of the top headlines of the day in our area, as well as give you an inside look as to what the 4 News Now team is working on today. Let's start with weather, because it should shape up to be a pretty nice week. We are expecting rain this afternoon, and to come with that rain is the first day of spring. The spring equinox is today at 2.24 p.m., so that will officially, scientifically, mark the first day of spring. Uh, showers will taper off overnight, and temperatures will stay into the upper 40s, into the low and mid 50s. Uh, Wednesday Day, probably going to be the nicest day of the week with minimal cloud coverage into the upper 50s and we are expecting snow a rain snow mix coming in on Friday taking a look at what the team is working on today Jordan Smith and Vanessa Perez are both in Coeur d'Alene today Coeur d'Alene Public Schools is having an, a special board meeting uh, this afternoon around 4 p.m. to discuss the two failed levies that uh, were not passed last week in that area. Uh, the supplemental levy is probably the biggest of the two. It has existed previously and was passed, but was always temporary and had been passed every time. So that supplemental levy actually accounts for 25% of the district's budget. Uh, it's about $25 million, so it's a significant amount of money. So this new vote would have made that levy permanent. So voters said no to that. Uh, so the special board meeting will be discussed tonight about possibly reintroducing the levies or uh, just moving forward as jobs uh, could be at stake. About 250 jobs for teachers in the district uh, with that budget not being passed. Now, uh, Jordan Smith is going to be following the budget meeting, but Vanessa Perez is also out in Coeur d'Alene, as I mentioned, and we're expecting protests on both sides of this issue. So Vanessa will be speaking with those for the levies and those who are against Staying in Idaho, Bronte Sarotsky, she is up near Sandpoint where last week Bonner County General Health announced they will stop their labor, labor and delivery services in May. And uh, that means women who are pregnant and go into labor will have to seek health care elsewhere and cannot do it at Bonner County General. Uh, the closest labor and delivery services hospital would be Coeur d'Alene, over an hour's drive from Sandpoint if you are going into labor. So Bronte is speaking with a woman who is pregnant, uh, would have probably gone to Bonner General, but now will have to go elsewhere because that woman is due in August and again those services will end in May. Bonner County General did say that um, you can get emergency services to deliver but of course the doctor doing that would not be a specialist in delivery services uh, so she'll be speaking with people in that area about the outcome of this. Uh, we're, it's a very Idaho heavy day as we look at some uh, pretty interesting story in Bonner County as well. Bonner County Sheriff's Office, this photo is courtesy of them, had to rescue a woman from the Pondere River. Uh, apparently around Saturday morning, they got a 911 call saying a car had gone in at the Old Town boat launch. So deputies were able to rescue the person. We actually have video courtesy of the Bonner County Sheriff's Office. So here's a little bit of that. Now, the 88-year-old uh, uh, woman driver, uh, she was transported, treated at the scene, and then transported to a local hospital. Um, so, again, Bonner County sent that over this morning of a rescue. According to the sheriff's office, that river was about 35 degrees, and hypothermia can occur within minutes. So, thank goodness, deputies were able to quickly get out there. Closing out with some sports, Zags win again. Uh, Zags are the, pretty much the last of the remaining local teams still in the March Madness Tournament. Zags won uh, last night, beating TCU 84-81. to 
one. They're moving on to the Sweet 16. Julian Strother had a career moment, breaking the 1,000 point mark on a go-ahead three, which was very sweet. Drew Timmy led the team in scoring, as is tradition, with 28 points that night. Zag's next game is against uh, number two seeded UCLA. That's going to be on Thursday in Las Vegas. Our sports guys will be out there as well. It's a busy travel week for them. And as always, go Zags. So those are all the stories we have for you on today's Daily Rundown. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to download KXLY Plus on your connected televisions. That's Apple TV, Smart TVs, and uh, your Roku apps. You can watch 24-7 streaming news for free. And you can also watch these on the 4 News Now app on your mobile phones. So we'll have all those stories and more coming up tonight at 5, but live in studio, I'm Rob King for KXLY+.